Hey, welcome. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's reading is the person on your mind. What are they what are they thinking about you um, right now? Thinking about the connection, thinking about the situation. We'll see what messages come through. But what are they thinking about you? Uh, group one, group two, and group three. If you do need to pause the video so you can take a moment to choose your group, feel free. But I will see you in your readings. Hey, welcome. If you've chosen the first group, then this reading could be for you, the person on your mind. What are they thinking about you? We have the Knight of Swords upright. We have the Hierophant upright. And we have the Two of Pentacles also upright. Alright, so it feels like the person you're asking about is thinking about limiting contact with you. Um, they feel like this limitation in contact could last a while, um, but they don't actually want it to last indefinitely. For some of you, they could uh, feel that you are already limiting you know, contact with them. For some of you, they could want to limit contact as a form of, I'm not going to say manipulation, but for some of you, they could want to do that so that they can get their own way in some way. Um, but yeah, so they don't want this limit in contact to last indefinitely. They think that you may never see or understand their point of view. They could feel that you aren't open to seeing or understanding their point of view, um, which to them they do find annoying because they feel that they see or they can see and understand, um, you know, your way of thinking and your perspectives on certain things. But at this point, they could feel that you are pretty much done with them. They think you want um, no parts you know, either with them or, you know, maybe a certain behaviour of theirs, maybe a certain perspective of theirs. Um, so, yeah, either something, you know, in particular or them as a whole, they think you want no parts. They could also think that you've moved on and that you aren't really looking back when it does come to them. They could think you're being difficult. And for some of you, they could think that you're at a point or at a place where they can't hurt you anymore. Like whether, you know, like whether this is mentally, like mentally they can't hurt you anymore emotionally. I hope it's not physically, you know, but they could feel that you have kind of like separated yourself from them, you know, to a point. And they do think that you're actively trying to reject them. But even though they see what you're trying to do, like by rejecting them, keeping your distance, they still want to see what they can get out of you. Like they still want to hold on to you. It's almost like you're closing the door, but they, you know, have their foot jammed in the door, you know, and they think if they keep on you know you will eventually let them in again um this person thinks you're being stubborn um they think other people influence what you think and feel about them they could think you have trouble communicating that you have um, trouble speaking up for yourself at times too and it feels like maybe up until a certain point, maybe they still feel this way, but they could, they felt, 
like they were able to use this to their benefit in the past, but not anymore. They think that whatever is going on between the two of you is like a misunderstanding. Um, but yeah, they do think you are more cautious, you're more vigilant. They think you have, you know, very little confidence in them anymore. It feels like they want to start an argument with you or get a reaction out of you, but they feel that you aren't going for it, you won't go for it, you know? And it feels like at this point, they're very sure that they will not get a rise out of you. Uh, it feels like they may want to distract you, but they feel like they, you know, again, like they don't have the opportunity, uh, you know, the reach, the hold on you to distract you or to deter you from whatever it is that you are doing right now. But they do think you're feeling restless um, they think you are trying to be mature, trying to keep things cute for some of you guys, you know, and they do feel that right now you have almost like, I don't know if authority is the right word, but for some of you it could be, but it's almost like you kind of, it's like you decide what that next step will be so for some of you that could be what that authority is for others of you it could be in another way but they just kind of feel that you are in the better position when it comes to your relationship with them they think that you don't want anyone in your life to rock the boat and they could feel that you want the people that are in your life to represent themselves well. They could think that you found them embarrassing. They could also think that you are doing better than them financially specifically. Um, for some of you, they could think that you look down on them And for some of you, like this person does want to be able to bring you down to their level. So they could also think that you are choosing a dif different career soon, or they think you're changing and growing in other areas of your life. They just think you're busy and that you have a lot going on and that you're not really thinking about them um, as maybe as much as you did in the past, you know? So yeah, they could kind of think you're kind of focusing on yourself. They could or they could also feel that you've already gotten closure from your relationship with them. And they could feel that they haven't, you know. So we have don't believe every shitty thought that you have. And we also have stop talking. We have make time for self care. And reconnect with your innocence, baby and dog, be your own best friend. So with stop talking, for some of you, like if you have to be in contact with this person, like for some reason you have ties together, maybe you work together, maybe you have children together or something like that. Like if you have to talk to this person for some reason, uh, this person, they definitely feel that you do not want to have to do that.
like they could think that you think nothing productive comes you know um from speaking to them so with don't believe every shit you thought that you have this person could feel that you are trying to ignore the negative things that they may say to you maybe things that they've said to you in the past but if there is like an ongoing conflict like this does feel like something in the present like they do feel you are trying to ignore their negative words um actions yeah. like they could feel that you're not trying that you're trying to not let uh what they say maybe impact your confidence maybe impact how you feel uh about certain things your perspective on certain things with dog be your own best friend like they do feel that you are trying to look out for yourself But with dog be your own best friend they also feel that you just want people around you who do have your best intentions people who are for you people who you know support you For some of you, they could think that you want to be able to open up to the people around you as well. They could feel that you feel there's a lot that you can't tell certain people in your life and they could feel that you want to. For some of you, in some environments, they could think that you don't really know who to trust in, you know, in certain specific environments. So this person could think that you don't have the time for self-care right now. They could think you have too much going on to really pour into yourself like that. Maybe not as much as you did before. So yeah, they, they just think you don't really have the time for it right now. I don't know who this person is, but it feels like that is something that makes them happy. If that makes sense, unfortunately. If any of you here have children, they could think that you're pouring into your kids. Maybe making sure that you're connected to them, staying connected to them or reconnecting with them for some of you guys. But for others of you, this is them thinking that you are vulnerable, you're just in a vulnerable position at the moment. But with baby as well, they could think that you are holding on to the past or your past in some way you could feel like you're holding on to your youth um yeah or holding on to something else from the past So moving on, we have 
I'm so used to flying solo. We have it is for the best. Uh, trust your intuition. I want to feel your skin against my own. We have let's piss off the neighbours. Don't hold back. We have don't take it personal. We have my mind is elsewhere. And we have bitter. And we also have I've been through some stuff. So with I'm so used to flying solo, for some of you here, this person could think that you think that they want to be single, that they want to be on their own. Like they do think that you have the wrong impression of them when it comes to, um, you know, that potential situation. So this person could feel that there was a time or, you know, a period where you didn't really trust your intuition and they think that you aren't doing that more, that you are trusting your intuition a bit more right now. With I want to feel your skin against my own, like, this person does miss you, you know, um, they miss being close to you. If you had a physical relationship with this person, they could miss um, that aspect of your relationship as well. But it feels like they more so maybe miss, like, you know, holding you, you know, hugging you, being close to you. So I don't know what kind of dynamic you had with this person, what the relationship was like. Um, but it feels like they think in that, you know, in their perspective that someone's going to be taking their place soon is what it feels like with this card here. Like, you know, maybe in the past that they were physically close to you in some way, you know, even if this is not a romantic thing. Um, but especially if it is a romantic thing, but again, it doesn't really have to be, but it feels like someone's going to be taking their place like as like as close as they were to you, maybe before in the past, they feel that someone else is going to be in that position soon enough, you know? So with this card here, it is for the best. They think that you think whatever situation is happening between you both, they believe that you believe it's for the best, you know, especially if there is some type of rejection happening, um, distance. They could think that that's the way that you want it, you know, that you feel is the best outcome for right now or the best situation for you. Um, for right now, you know? So wh when it comes to I've been through some stuff, like this is how they think about your connection as a whole. They think that your connection, you know, both of you, in that relationship has been through, you know, some tough times, maybe some tough times, you know, because of the relationship you've been through or just, 
you guys have experienced tough, tough times together. So with my mind is elsewhere, they do think that your mind is elsewhere right now. And for some of you, they think that you want their mind to be elsewhere. Like they could think that you think they're thinking about the wrong things. Like they feel that you don't trust their judgment, that you don't really trust where their mind is at, like their perspective on certain things, like the way they think about things, the way they go about certain things. So when it comes to Lesbos of the Neighbours Don't Hold Back, this does feel like it's related to people who are external to your relationship. They could think you care too much about maybe certain outside perspectives, whether that's family, you know, other colleagues, or I, I don't know. For some of you, it could be literally your neighbours. Like they could just feel there are certain people in your life that you don't want to upset, disappoint or, you know, annoy in any way. So with don't take it personal, it feels like they think you want them to actually take certain things personally. But they think that they need to act like they're not taking certain things to heart, like they feel like they need to act like they're not taking, you know, certain things that are happening um, personally or just not show maybe you or other people that it's affecting them. I don't know if I've already already said this, but they could also think that you're not listening to them anymore, that you're not taking certain things that they say personally anymore or taking it to heart, you know? So they could also think that you think they're bitter as well. They could think that's how you're perceiving them right now. And also as immature. They could think that you're perceiving them as emotional and sensitive. So we also have childlike, we have unpleasant and we have impressionable. So they could think that you perceive them this way, that you perceive them as childlike. So with unpleasant, like they think in their perspective that you've been that way towards them, that you've been kind of off with them. This feels like recent past kind of energy.
So they could also think that you think they're impressionable. They could also think that you've been impressionable in certain ways as well. Um, they could think that you've been impressionable when it comes to them. But for some of you, this could be more so actually about other people, um, them thinking you're impressionable when it comes to other people, not necessarily when it comes to them. But that is all I have for those of you who chose the first group. I do hope it could be helpful and I'm wishing you guys the best, all right? Please take care of yourselves. Bye. Hey, welcome. If you have chosen the second group, then this reading could be for you. We have the lovers upright, five of cups in reverse and the knight of wands also in reverse. So this person definitely thinks you are very, think, thinks you're a very uh, attractive. They think you guys got a little connection going on that you guys can get along or do get along depending on where your relationship is at right now. And I don't know, for some of you, this doesn't, this doesn't necessarily feel like someone new, but someone that you may not know very well. Uh, but this person definitely feels like you're a bit of them. You know, they think that you're friendly and they're thinking of ways that you guys can be more like enmeshed and ways that they can be more involved in your life, maybe vice versa. Um, they do think you're attracted to them. They think you guys are similar in some way as well. They do think you're like quite a balanced person. They think you're pretty stable and they do really like those qualities about you. But it feels like this person, they're trying to approach you right. You know, they're trying to be smart in how they're, in how they approach you. They're not trying to rush into anything they don't want to be seen as like impulsive um they think that you both deserve to see you know what genuineness may lurk beneath the surface of the connection that you guys have so far you know because they do think that maybe your connection isn't you know too deep right now and the person you're asking about, they may not be a realistic and patient person in general, you know, but they plan to be when it comes to you guys. And it's because they value and respect you and the potential, you know, that can come out of your relationship, you know. So it also feels like they don't want to mislead you or make you any empty promises they think you both deserve to be sure about each other so this person they think you're smart as well um and this is interesting but for some of you they've heard some things about you but in their mind it's like they're like, there's two sides of every story. So they don't take what's said about you to heart. Um, but I have to say, like, it doesn't even feel like they, they hear too many negative things about you. If that's not what it is. Like, they could actually hear a lot of good things about you. And it seems like they're more open to hearing the good things about you, if that makes sense, you know? Um, but when they do hear the slight negative things, they may shrug it off. Actually, no, for some of you, it may seem like they actively um, defend you more time, not in a heated way, though, just kind of like maybe in a brush it off kind of way. But it's not in a heated way when they're defending you. Um, but the people who do speak negatively about you to them, it feels like these people... 
realize that they're not someone they can you know go to if they want to talk negatively about you if that makes sense you know so yeah this person may think you're a, a firecracker when you want to be uh they think you're confident for some of you they could feel that you're slightly arrogant but um in their mind like it's not a bad thing like they think you deserve to be super confident about whatever it is you're confident about do you know what i mean like So this person, they could think that you actually wouldn't mind being in a relationship with them. They could think you want to be in a relationship with them. Um, they don't think you want to be in a relationship in general, though. Like they do think maybe you're very selective when it comes to, you know, that area of your life. For some of you, even if this is a platonic connection, they could feel that you want a connection, um, a relationship with them, even if it is platonic. So for some of you, this isn't going to be for everyone, but this person could be in a relationship um, already and they're worried about hurting you. Um, but realistically, they're not sure where you guys stand anyway. For some of you, that's another reason why they may not want to jump into anything. Like, they could feel they need to be... Like, regardless of whether this person's in a relationship or not, like, they do feel they need to be level-headed when it comes to the two of you. But they do like you a lot, you know? If this person is in a relationship, they may not be having trouble or having problems with the person they are with, but they don't really share a deep one with them either. But for some of you, they could share ties with this person. Um, so the person you're asking about, they could think that you're overcoming um, a loss. And it feels like they do have a lot of empathy for you. Like, despite you being very fiery in their perspective, they also think you're very calm, uh, forgiving, and they think you're trying to heal in some way. They do feel you've been through a lot. But they see you, um, you know, despite your experiences, they see you as a very empowered person anyway. And they could think that you're in a process right now where you're kind of letting go of, you know, certain things, like old things that aren't serving you anymore, old people, places, habits. But they think that you've been doing that, like that maybe it's been an ongoing process for you for quite some time, you know, and kind of just getting rid of certain things that are not for you. They could also think that you want more solid people in your life. But also people who are fun as well, like people you can have fun with, but people who you can count on or just trust or people who are, you know, solid and yeah. But they could feel that you see them as an opportunity for some fun an adventure in your life, maybe an opportunity to travel even. But yeah, this person, they think you're very resilient. Uh, they feel that you are emotionally strong. Actually, this is physically strong too for some of you guys. But yeah, they feel that you could perceive them as like an health, a healthy option for you, you know, someone that will be good for you. They, they view you as both pessimistic and optimistic. They could think that you've been through a period of kind of keeping to yourself either recently or they kind of still feel you're in that 
you know, in that energy. They also feel that you have a super cool perspective on certain things. Or this is something that they kind of, you know, assume. Like, they do think you've been through a lot of setbacks, a lot of delays, but you're still pushing forward regardless. Another reason they do view you is very strong. They think that you don't like to be sloppy, don't like to be perceived as sloppy. They think you like to be in control, balanced. They also think you like to show a level of discipline or that is just something they see in you. They could think you feel frustrated in life or certain areas of your life and they could feel that you are impatient for positive change to happen for you. And they could just kind of get the feeling that you do want that light and passion back in your life you know <sighs> okay so what are they thinking about you? We have make better choices. And we also have get over yourself. It says pull your stuff together as well. We have easy does it. Your health, happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work we also have be present gift and we have transition release attachments to what was and prepare for what is to come okay So for some of you, some something that they've heard about you is that you need to make better choices or people, you know, maybe someone has said that to them, but they think that you already do make good choices for yourself. And they feel that you've always made good choices for yourself, you know, you know, whether or not those choices have worked out in the way that you hope, they do feel that you are someone who has a good head on, head on their shoulders. So they do feel that other people... don't understand your perspective, don't understand your journey in some way, you know? So with this get over yourself card, they could think that you need to stop caring about how other people um, perceive you or what was it again? For some of you, they could think that you need to stop thinking that you're too good for certain things. It's just that for some of you, they could think that you don't really let the real you kind of shine. Maybe in certain environments. But 
what they feel that you should let the real you shine through. Okay, so we have gift, be present. So this person could feel that you're gifted in some way. But that's going to be very different for each of you in what that could be, you know, it could be creatively, it could be how you deal with certain things, it could be your perspective, it could be psychically, intellectually, um, but yeah, they do feel you are gifted in some way. They could also would be present for some of you. They could think you need to be um, more present or it's maybe not need to be. That could be the wrong way to put it, but they could think um, that they will kind of like to see you uh, be a bit more present. Or they could think that it would benefit you if you were to be a bit more present. Like they could feel that there are times where your mind is just elsewhere. With easy does it, they could think you need to take it easier on yourself as well. They could think you need to do more to make yourself happy. Um, but this could also be in their approach to you or your approach to them. They just kind of feel that uh, that approach needs to be general. So this person, they could feel that you are currently transitioning or I think this came up earlier or this is something that you've you know been doing. Like they could feel that you've already released a significant amount of attachments to, you know, what was. But they could still, they could feel that you are still preparing for maybe significant change. But for some of you, it's also that they feel. So they can feel that you both would need to release attachments to um, for change to kind of happen in your connection. Um, but for some of you, they could actually think that you want them to change and transition in some way. For some of you, they could think that you want them to be the one that changes the nature of, you know, the connection that you guys currently have. So we have, you are so magical. We also have, I'm crazy about you. Is this even normal? We also have, I deserve better. We have your imperfections or perfection. We also have breaking cycles. There are many things left unsaid. After the first time, you'll be addicted and that's a promise. We also have hell yes. And I've never met someone like you.
So with magical, you are so damn magical and with gift over here, like this person could feel like you are a gift to them, like they could feel that you are quite special. They could think meeting someone like you is a very rare occurrence, you know? Like they do feel there is something about you that is very special. So if this is a connection that is kind of like undeveloped, they do feel it's not normal to feel this that strongly about someone. Where the connection is maybe quite a surface level so far, you know. That could be another reason why they don't want to rush. So with I deserve better, like they do think you deserve more than what you've possibly settled for in the past. But this is, they also feel like this is something you're actively seeking out for yourself. They feel that you're not going to, that was clarified by the Three of Swords, maybe you're not going to settle for maybe a heartbreak or, you know, someone that is just not good for you like they could think you are actively seeking out you know that better and you know healthier situation for yourself you know with breaking cycles like they could feel that you are breaking cycles the world card fell out as well But they could also think that you think that they're the ones or that they will be the one to kind of completely, you know, break the cycle of maybe what you've kind of, um, you know, kind of connected to in the past. Like they could feel that you see them as someone that is completely different to the people you have connected to in the past, you know? So they could also feel that there are still a lot that has gone unsaid between the two of you. Maybe they feel that there is a lot more you guys need to discuss or you know talk about maybe nothing too serious it could just be kind of like getting to know each other <laughs> so after the first time you'll be addicted that's a problem that's a promise they could actually feel that way about you they could feel that after the first time has there already been a first time? If there has already been a first time, they felt addicted to you after that first time. But for some of you, they could feel that, you know, once they once they get a taste, they, they will want to, um, you know, continue to get that taste, basically. So yeah, they could think that they will end up addicted to you. So they could think that you guys will end up having a connection or I don't know where you guys are at or maybe you already do have a connection where you guys are quite obsessed with each other, maybe very, you know, attracted to each other, touchy-feely, you know. So this person with hell yes, this person could think that you are very excited about them. And with your imperfections are perfection, like that's how they perceive your, you know, imperfections.
they could feel your imperfections are what make you, you know, perfect for them. So with I'm crazy about you, they could feel that you both are quite crazy about each other or they feel like that's the direction your relationship is headed in. And finally, we have reserved, we have obsessive and we have neat. So this person, they could think that you're very neat. They could feel that you're very, like, cleanly. Is that the word? Like, cleanly? I don't know. But they could feel like you're very neat and clean. They could also feel this way about your appearance. They could think you come across reserved um, in certain situations, maybe in general. They could also think that you are quite obsessive about certain things. Like they could just feel there's certain things in your life that you kind of like a certain way, you know? But that is all I have for those of you who may have chosen this group. I do hope it can be helpful and I'm wishing you guys the best. All right, please take care of yourselves. Bye. Hey, welcome. If you have chosen the third group, then this reading is for you. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Devil card in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, no, upright, sorry. All right, so they could think that you aren't in the most giving energy right now. Not that you're selfish, they don't view you as selfish, but they could think you are maybe more so in a taking kind of energy. Again, not that you are, not that you're taking advantage of anyone or using anyone, but they just feel that, yeah, you will receive, but you're not um, in the right place to, you know, give. And this doesn't have to be, like, financially, materially. It could be in ways, like, emotionally, time, you know, stuff like that. But they could also feel you just don't have a lot to give right now. And who I don't know who you're asking about, but they could feel that you're not open to them at the moment, or they just feel that you can't think of anything or anyone outside of yourself, maybe your little world, um, you know, your your chosen group of people. Or, or just yourself, if you don't really have that many close people around you. But they, they feel like there are certain people in your life that you are very open with, that you are very giving, kind, friendly. Like they do feel there are certain people in your life that see a more consistent, loving and nice side to you. But they think that you think you don't have a lot to offer. Maybe when it comes to strangers, maybe people you don't know very well, acquaintances, you know, people that you just aren't very close to. 
they could also think you are a little defensive and think and they think it won't be easy to get you to open up they do think you're mysterious to be honest like they don't really know what to think or make of you most of the time it's like they feel that if they don't keep their thoughts of you surface level it kind of racks their brain like you know that saying don't think too hard like they feel if they think too much too hard about you or try to you know like make assumptions about you or try to analyze you know certain things that you said or, or your behaviors they feel like they'll drive themselves crazy you know um So it's like the more they think about you or the more they try to understand, the, the less they understand, <laughs> you know, like the more confused they get. And they do think that there are many different sides to you and they think that they have to take everything they've seen of you, like each of these different sides of you with a grain of salt, like yes you may be this way today but tomorrow you may not be they think that every time they see you they should expect to get a different reaction or version of you you know and like this person they do feel quite possessive or obsessed with you and i don't know how close you are to them but they like to watch you from afar like they like to watch you from a distance like they like to watch you when you aren't looking or when you're maybe paying attention to something else like they do feel that you're pretty cautious and reserved at times they could also think you have this nervous energy to you but there are other times where you also seem very relaxed you know I mean, for some of you, they could think you're not generous at times. Um, and, and for a few of you, they could feel that because you had to struggle alone for a long time, they could feel like that's the reason why you're not like super generous or super open, you know? And it feels like they get it though. And, and that's another reason why they don't think you're selfish, you know? You know, they, they don't feel you treat them fairly in comparison to other people. But at the same time, they don't think it's the right time to change the dynamic in your connection. That they need to take their time in continuing to get to know you or... Or kind of just seeing whether or not a more solid foundation can be formed between the two of you guys, you know? So, for some of you, they do think you are very authoritative or you just have this authoritative energy about you even if you think you don't. They could think that there are times you maybe abuse the power that you do have in some situations they could also think that you are intimidating that you may have power over certain people or certain things but they do feel that there are a lot of people that find you attractive you know they do think you're healing they do feel that you are overcoming negative experiences They also think you may overanalyze everything, um, but they do feel that ultimately you want freedom. You know, they do think you're financially smart. 
and they could feel that you're on the path to financial freedom. They could also think that you have a strict routine or they feel that you have strict standards and could think you are also hard on the people around you too. Um, but they do feel that if you do take a strict approach to certain people in your life, um, they do think it is a successful approach though, you know, so it's not, they're not knocking it basically. But they could think you are a dark kind of person. For some of you, they could think you are slightly negative. Um, but they feel like there's something behind it. You know, they could think it's down to like something like anxiety or past experiences. Like they could just get the impression that there isn't much joy in your heart. And they feel like you don't even try to hide it either, you know. Like, they could feel that you don't really, you know, care if people see you as positive. Like, they could, you know, think you're just minding your own business most of the time, you know? But it feels like this person, they do want to break a pattern in your connection. For some of you, please only take this if it makes sense, but they could want to break a pattern of, you know, dismissiveness or not going in depth, you know, things kind of being surface level. It could also be something that you are more aware of, of course. You know, so they do think you're mature, but for some of you, they could, you know, like get the, like, kind of get a stuck up energy from you as well. Um, but even though they may get that vibe from you, it doesn't feel like it's something that they necessarily believe, you know, it's just that they think you can be perceived that way, even if you're not, you know. But yeah, they kind of feel that you want to be in your own little world. But they feel that you don't really get that luxury um, most of the time. Or just in certain environments, you kind of don't get the luxury of, you know, just doing your own thing or, you know, being in your own head and being in your own world. Like they do look at you as someone that is truly independent, you know, and it feels like they may not meet many people who are like genuinely independent, but that's how they see you. If any of you are parents, they feel like you are an amazing parent. Um, they do think you are someone that typically moves slowly. And for some of you, this could be in a like you do things in your own time kind of way. Um, but yeah, they feel like you pay attention, you like to watch, you like to learn, you know. Um, but yeah, they also think you're very feminine. They feel that you dress really nice. And they do think you're grounded and they do feel that you have accomplished a lot for yourself. They also think you're a natural leader too, even if you don't see yourself as one. And they do think you're confident. And for some of you, if this person doesn't know you all that well, like they could think you are in a committed relationship or they think that you want to be. Okay, so we have step away from the crazy diet for a hot second. Uh, 
and we have get outside move your behind so with this step away from the crazy diet like um again it comes like down to that strict energy like they do think you are very strict on yourself and they do think that you know you need to take it easier on yourself too like they could think you need to stop you know, being in control all the time, like just let loose, like be impulsive. So this person, they could think you want to be free, but that you may not know how to be free. It's like, say for example, you, you want to take a break, right? You, you, you know you need to rest, you know you need to relax, but there's something inside you that just feels the need to keep busy, you know, to, to be productive. So with this card here, it feels like what is it? They could think you need to go with the flow a bit more or that you would benefit from that again like they could just think you need to stop being so strict on yourself so we have life lessons it says you can break free from the recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and the blessing that they contain We also have house home, come home to, what does that say? I'm not going to say all that, but yeah. <laughs> so we have house home and we also have alien, except that you are an unrepeatable and spectacular phenomenon. So with a house home, like they do view you as a very solid kind of person, you know. And a lot of you that could come down to your confidence again, you being a solid person in their eyes. So for some of you, they could think you find it hard to escape something negative that, um, something negative in your life, like maybe something from your past, they could feel like it just keeps coming up for you. And for a lot of you, this could be like, uh, like an energy, you know, um, like a negative energy that just, you know, even if you, um, what is the word? Even if like you escape it sometimes, you know, they feel like it always kind of just creeps up on you again you know and that was clarified initially by the man of swords i lost it but um so yeah so they could think that there are certain lessons that you are still 
I don't know if it's about learning, but they could feel that there are certain things that you are still overcoming. Or they kind of just think you are subjected to like a certain negative pattern. Um, like no matter what you do, like that pattern is just always going to be there in this person's perspective. Like this person with alien, like they do think you are very unusual, unusual. Like they do think you are very unique. And they do think that they will never meet a person like you again, you know? So we also have here, I judged you way too quickly. We have, I'm not with all the drama. We also have nothing will stand in my way. We have, I'm not even sorry. Trauma. Dreamer. Are you ashamed of me? I loved you too much and my family doesn't approve. I have to say like for some of you here it feels like this person has seen you be you know playful and it feels like they really do like that side of you. This person, they also think that you hate drama. They could feel like you don't even like to listen to it, even if you're not involved in it. So will I judge you too quickly? So they could think initially they judge you way too quickly, but it feels like they've since realized that they shouldn't have done that. Like, they do realise now that there, that there is a lot more depth to you, a lot more size to you than they originally, you know, realised. And it feels like you've helped them realise that people do tend to be a lot more nuanced. Um, so, yeah, do you have more from this one? Okay. So they could think you do have big dreams, big aspirations. Uh, for others of you though, they could feel that you are just someone who is a dreamer, maybe someone who's in their head or likes to, you know, use their imagination or someone that is creative. I don't know, like, this may not be for everyone here, but with are you ashamed of me, this person could think either you're, you're ashamed of them right now, or they could think that in certain environments, or, you know, if things were to kind of develop between you guys, or if you guys were to become closer, and that you wouldn't, um, that you would be ashamed of them for some reason. Uh, for some of you, they could think that if you knew more about them, you would be ashamed of them. This person could also think their family, if their family were to kind of get to know you, um, or if you were to be more involved in their life, if they were to be closer to you, that you know, their family wouldn't approve of you or their family wouldn't think you guys are compatible or they wouldn't think that you guys are good for each other.
with i'm not even sorry this person could think you are quite um apathetic at times they could feel that you aren't very sensitive when it comes to other people with nothing will stand in my way clarified by the chariot they could think that you don't want anything or anyone to stand in your way like they do feel you have certain goals certain dreams and aspirations that you want to achieve like they could feel like you are quite a high achiever in general and they feel that you don't want anyone to stand in the way of that, you know? So this person, they could think you have unprocessed trauma that, you know, trauma that you haven't really acknowledged or kind of processed yourself. I'm not gonna lie i'm not really getting a message from i loved you too much so if you do feel connected to that message and you want to self-interpret it if or if your intuition is telling you something about this particular card then you know you know take uh what your intuition is telling you and finally we have sensitive we have frugal and we have enigmatic So this person, they do feel you are very enigmatic. They do feel you are very charming. Like there's something about you that is very attractive or it kind of like just seduces people and kind of draws them in. Um, you know, even though they, you know, they feel like you aren't trying to do that. Like this person with frugal, they do think you are smart with money. They could think you are frugal about certain things. And they do think they need to treat you sensitively as well. But that is all I have for those of you who chose this group. I do hope it could be helpful. I do hope it can make sense. But I'm wishing you guys all the best. All right. Please take care of yourselves. Bye.